Um, so bleach is part sodium hypochlorite and part swimming pool shock treatment. And, and that swimming pool shock treatment is 9.5% sodium hypochlorite. Okay, so we, we have two different things. We have bleach and then we have shock treatment. They're getting mixed together, right? This is my terrible cup. We got bleach. <laughs> it's a bad cup. And we got shock treatment being mixed together. Um, and how much of each item must be mixed to get six cups? So this final thing that we're mixing them into needs to be six cups. It needs to be 6.7% sodium hypochlorite. So we don't know how much from this one, we don't know how much from this one. But uh, like on question 9, we can just talk about one variable. We could let x be the number of cups of bleach. And then we have a nice expression for the number of cups of shock treatment. Total, together, they're supposed to make 6 cups. So the shock treatment should be whatever x is taken away from the total six cups. Right, because if x is one cup, then we better have five cups of the shock treatment because the total thing is supposed to be six cups. And so now we can just break it down by percentages. Um, there's 0.0475 is the decimal form of that. Uh, first percentage. This represents the amount of so sodium hypochlorite in that bleach. And then we're going to add that to the amount of sodium hypochlorite. Oh, shoot, I'm running out of room. I'll explain this here. Let me move it. Now, oh, there we go. Okay. So, look, we're taking a percentage times an amount plus a percentage times an amount, right? This is the amount of uh, the amount of cups that we're using from the bleach, and this is the percentage of sodium hypochlorite. This is the amount of cups of the shock treatment, and this is the percent of the sodium hypochlorite. And that should equal the percent times the amount, the same pattern here. The final amount that it's supposed to equal is 0 0.067 and now this amount isn't a variable. We don't have to deal with x because we know the total amount is supposed to be 6 here. And so that's an equation with just one letter in it, and that's something we can solve. We have to use the distributor property with 0 .9, 0 0.095. So I'm multiplying 0 0.095 times 6. And then over here is 0 0.067 times 6, that makes 0 0.402. And then we can combine like terms. These two things are already on the same side of the equation. So with my calculator, because the negatives are going to get trickier, 0 0.0475 subtracted by 0 0.095 makes negative 0 0.0475. So I just combine like terms on the left side. And I'm still trying to get, oh, that's an x there, sorry. I combined these terms to make this. And so I'm still trying to get that x by itself. So let's subtract 0 0.57 from both sides. So we get negative 0.0475x equals 0 0.402 subtracted by 0 0.57. That makes negative 0 0.168. And I'm still trying to get x by itself, so let's divide both sides by negative 0 0.0475. So I get x is um, looks like x is 3.54 when we round. Let me just check and see. Yep, so that is x, that's the number of cups of bleach. And since there's supposed to be six cups altogether, just subtract that from six to find out the amount of cups 
of shock treatment.